In this video, I want to talk about using Excel in reference to this project that you have. Um, there are a couple of things I want to go over. The first is format. The second is using different equations. And then the third is adding some fixed amount per month um, and then letting that grow. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is kind of recreate this sheet that I gave you uh, so you can kind of see how to format, at least very basically. Um, so you can keep your project neat and organized. So again, I'm just going to recreate this. Um, the first thing I do is create a blanket um, that tells you what college you're talking about. Um, so I'm going to merge three cells together using this button up here. That just puts all those, all three of those boxes together as one. And then we can type out our college's name. Okay, then we can put in our categories, our prices, and our citations. Then we can just start typing out our categories. So tuition, books, room and board, travel, total for one year, and then total for all four years. Now, because some of these words overlap into our second column, we want to size our first column differently. Um, so just a default way to do that is to put your cursor on the right-hand side of the A column, just double click and it'll size it for you. Now, personally, I like all these things centered. So I highlight all of them, go up to the centering option right up here, hit center, Hit center again, and everything's kind of nice and uniform. Okay, so I'm just going to add some prices, which you guys should be able to find. Um, just some example numbers. So once we have all those numbers, we can add them all together. In order to add... Um, different things together very easily without using a calculator, without using paper and pencil. Um, if you're just going to let Excel do the work, you can type in equals and then sum and then open a set of parentheses and highlight the ones you want to add together. So I would click this first box, drag down all the way down to travel and then hit enter. And that will add up everything together. In order to multiply something by four, I would type in equals and I want to multiply this number by four. So we would highlight that, then hit shift eight, which gets you that star symbol, which stands for multiplication and then four. And that will multiply that value by four. Okay. So that's just really basic stuff. Um, but in terms of format, um, I would like all these boxes kind of with a solid um, border. So you would highlight all the boxes, go up to this option up here, go down to all borders, and then hit, uh, just click it. And it'll box in everything that you just typed or everything that you highlighted. Okay. Um, if you want to make your life just a little bit easier, um, I would highlight important boxes. So in order to do that, you go up to this paint box looking thing, scroll down, highlight whatever color you'd want, and then hit, and then just click it. Okay. Um, and then you kind of do the same thing for everything on down this list. So we want our principal value, our growth rate, raw value after college, And, and so on and so forth, okay? Um, again, this overlaps just a little bit. So I'm gonna resize it. I'm gonna highlight the boxes that I need. I'm gonna create the borders. And then we have that next box created. Um, and you do the same for these next couple of sections. Okay, so that's format. Um, there's a lot of things you can do with format. Most of what you're going to need, though, um, 
are these buttons kind of in this little box up here. And then these three things right here. Um, so merge and center, that will make a bunch of boxes just one. Um, highlight, that highlights the box. And then these buttons up here will determine where you're writing in those boxes is. Okay, so the center option, that's the one you probably should be using most of the time. Um, that centers everything and makes it look nice. In terms of equations, um, I just showed you two here. Um, so this is the sum option. Again, that's just equals sum open parentheses and then highlight the boxes you want to add together, close parentheses, hit enter. Okay. In order to multiply by four, you hit equals, highlight the box you want to multiply by four, shift eight, multiply by some number, hit enter, and that gives you that number. Again, you, you shouldn't be doing any of this project on paper or on your calculator. Excel can do everything for you, okay? It gets a little bit trickier though when we are talking about continuous growth and compounding growth. So in order to get growth, uh, let's assume that we have a couple of numbers. So let's say our principal value is 15,000. We have a growth rate of 4%, so 0 0.04 it compounds four times a year so quarterly um, in this case if you're a junior it'll be five years and a senior it'll be four years um, so the time it's going to grow so i'm just going to put down five and we want to plug those values in to this equation in order to do that and I'll label the box. We have to be very careful. Okay, so like any of those other equations I just showed you, um, the sum equation and then multiplying, we type in equals, and then we're just using these numbers right here. Okay, so we do equals our principal value. So we highlight that box, multiply that by parentheses one plus, open a set of parentheses, our rate divided by the number of times it compounds, close that set of parentheses, close the full set of parentheses, take into the power of, so shift six, open a set of parentheses, n times t, and then close that set of parentheses. When you hit enter, it'll give you that value grown at 4% over five years. So that is compounding four times a year. Um, I think for the most part, people are gonna be using this equation. If however, for whatever reason, you have to use continuous compounding interest, um, the way to do that is just a little bit different, okay? So we still do the same thing. So equals our principal value times, and instead of doing e to the power of r times t, we type in exp. And as you can see for Excel, uh, that little box that shows up, it says returns e raised to the power of a given number, which is exactly what we want. So we open a set of parentheses, and everything in that set, set of parentheses um, is the exponent of e. So we would type in r, so our rate, times our time and then close that set of parentheses so that equation right there says p our principal value times e to the power of everything in parentheses and that makes sense okay so that's generally format and generally how to use equations um, the most difficult thing you're going to be doing is this equation right here um, but the reason I want you to do this in Excel is because I can see your equation up here. Uh, and that let, lets me know that you, that you really actually know how to use this. Um, and this is how they kind of use it in, in real world, right? Um, the other thing I want to go over is 
adding a value in, letting that value grow, adding another value in, and letting that grow. Okay, um, so outside of format, outside of uh, these general equations, we can do that very cleverly in Excel. So I'm going to be in these two columns right here. Um, I'm going to call this first column our principal column, and this second column our growth column. All right, so our principal column, uh, we're still going to assume it's 15,000. Um, and what's going to happen is this principal value will grow for a month at some rate and some number of times compounding. And then after that month, we're going to add some value to it, which will be this box right here. Then it's going to compound for another month. Then we're going to add some other fixed value. Then it's going to grow again. We're going to add. It's going to grow again. We're going to add and so forth. Okay. And that could be really tedious, especially 12 times a year for five years. Um, if you're doing it on paper, but Excel can do all of this for you very, very quickly. Okay. So our first box is going to look similar. So this will be equal to our principal value times. And in this case, instead of clicking on boxes, I'm actually just going to put in the values. Um, that way Excel doesn't get confused with what boxes we're actually using. All right. So our principal value, I can click that and I have to click that. And then times one plus our rate, which is 0 0.04 divided by the number of times it compounds a year, which is four. And we take all of that to the power of however many times it compounds, okay? So because it compounds four times a year, but it's only doing that for one month, we have to multiply four by one twelfth of a year. And then we can hit enter. So in this value is our principal having grown for one month. Okay. Now we want to add some fixed value to that. So we're going to hit equals. And let's say that we add $50 a month. So we're going to take this value that just grew. We're going to add $50. And we have this. Okay, now this value is going to grow for a month. And instead of typing all this out again, we can click this value where our equation is, go down to the bottom right hand corner, so where we get a cross crosshair, click it, drag it down, and then this new value that's highlighted is our new principal value grown for another month. Okay, so those two little rows, that's two months. And we want it for a lot longer than that. So we're going to take these two rows and we're going to do the same thing that we just did. We're just going to drag it down. And we can drag that down as long as we want. Um, and that will tell you how much we've added and how much that has grown. Okay, so the left hand column is very basically what we add. Okay, so if we're adding $50, um, if we go one row up and across, that's our value having grown, and then we're adding $50 to that. Then it grows again, we're adding $50. It grows again, we're adding $50. I don't know if this is actually used, but this is the best way that I can um, think of to add money every month while it's still growing because our principal is changing and then it's growing. Our principal is changing again, then it's growing uh, for some number of time, okay? So that's a lot. Um, I'm gonna just do that one time really quickly so you can see it again and it might be a little bit more concise um, using slightly different values. So I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna make another sheet so you can see that option. Um, every college should have its own sheet so in order to change that name, click down here, double click it, type in the college, and then this entire sheet will be just that college. 
to add a sheet, we click this button down here and another sheet will be added. So this would be college two. And instead of reformatting everything, um, we can actually just take all this. So highlight it all, hit control C, go over to the next sheet, hit control V, and it's all there. Okay, obviously the tuition, the books, the room and board, all of that stuff would be different from college to college, but that's easy enough to change. Um, so really quickly, I'm gonna do what I just did again, so you can see it and it'd be a little bit more concise. So we'll have our principal column and our growth column. Let's say instead of 15,000, it's 10,000. And then let's say we have a growth rate of 3%. It compounds 12 times a year, so once a month. And then it's only being compounded once a month, or uh, it's only growing for one month a piece. Okay. So we hit equals. We hit our principal value. Multiply that by one plus our rate, which is 0 0.03. Divide that by the number of times it compounds a year, which is 12. Take that all to the power of the number of times it compounds. So in this case, it's compounding every month and it's only growing for a month. So it's only going to compound once. Or if you really want to see that, um, it's 12 times a year times 1 12th, which will just be equal to 1. Hit enter, and there you have it. Okay. Now we want to add some fixed rate. So let's say 75 bucks. Then to get this box, we can click here, go to the bottom right hand corner, click it, and drag down. And then to get several boxes, we highlight both of them, go to the bottom right hand corner, and drag down as far as you want. Okay, and this method will help you answer this question. Okay, um, so again, I know that's a lot. Formatting isn't very hard. Again, you just have to know uh, very generally this section up here. Um, and if you just explore a little bit or have used Word before, formatting really shouldn't be an issue. Um, the second part is just basic equations, so the sum equation and then the multiply equation and then the um, compounding some number of times a year equations so those are that's that's like the majority of this project the next part is all of this which is slightly trickier but as long as you're careful and you you follow basic what I what I just did very very carefully um, it shouldn't be very difficult. Um, you're going to have to find that fixed value that you're adding. So you're just going to have to try a couple numbers. Um, and then that will ultimately finish your project. Okay. This is a lot. I will obviously be available to this because you're very new to it. Um, but I hope this covers some things that you were asking. So again, come in to me for help. Email me and I'll be there. But Again, this is there for you. So thank you.